All right, back again. Time to get the uh, the bait bait container back and going. All right, so let's see what we've got here in the bag. That might be something that they think is fabulous. So I need a knife. All right, so I'm going to give them some lemons, a little coconut coir, a little baby orange. And one of the benefits of using these things, and even though these are the forbidden fruits because they're acidic, there's a lot of juice in them, and so that will make everything fabulous. I'm going to put the moldy one on the bottom. Maybe that will help break things down. Looks like i got a cherry. And we'll top it off with one more baby orange. Making sure to squeeze all the juice in there and make it super tantalizing. Topping off with some coconut core. A little bit more. All right, so then I just mound it up and over, and hopefully I will catch some worms in another week. So all of the cocoons from where I've been uh, harvesting off of the big boy, I've been putting the castings in here too, so that eventually all of the worms will just move in here. Um, so it's, it's kind of nice to have things that are a little bit more um, dry to help out the ones that are a little bit too wet. All right, let's go over to the DIY bin and see what it's doing. Okay. Uh, I forgot to look at the video, as usual. So let's look and see what we've got going on in the top of the DIY bin. can't remember if I... I must have fed up here. I'm seeing a lot of worms. But then again, I've also been putting the worms from the, the bait trap in the top here. So not sure which one that's from. But I don't really see anything specific as far as food goes except for the avocado. Oh, top of a pineapple. They're, uh, they're making progress, but still got some green. They are going to get some food today, but I might not feed this level. They love their avocado, don't they? So a lot of slow food seems to be left on the top level here which is to be expected. Um, whereas the fast food like frozen bananas and whatnot can be gone in a week with the amount of worms that I have. Things like, you know, turnip butts, they'll be in there for months and months. Unfrozen vegetables, you know, they take three or four months to break down. That's why you hear a lot of people will freeze everything before they put it in because it helps break the cell walls down and releases the the juice from the plant or whatever. Also gets rid of fruit flies. But that's that's all I'm seeing is slow food right now. So let me take this top layer off and let's look at the next layer down. Okay, here we are in the next layer down. Let's see what's going on. Much, much more wet, which is typical. You generally do see the the bottom layers becoming much, much more wet. Uh, they're not exposed to the air being dried off and whatnot. But I think it's making good progress down here. I don't see any food. I think it's probably been two or three weeks since we fed down here. The only thing I'm seeing is uh, more unfrozen uh, turnips. All right, let me move this layer off. All right, here we are down in the bottom where the towel has been. That's making lovely progress. Okay, a little hard to handle. 
Now let's see what the worms underneath here in the towel department are doing. Now, back in the day, this used to be the sump where I would let the liquid go. But even with the, like, 1 16th holes, I was still getting worms down there drowning. So I just decided that, um, fine, if they want to live down here, I will leave them bedding down here and they can do what they want. And as you can see, they do a good job down here. Um, if it gets too wet down here, I will um, take this stuff and move it to the top and reverse things around so the moisture stays even. But generally this bottom part stays pretty darn wet. Avocado tree trying to grow. All right, let me reassemble that and I think we'll feed the middle this time. Okay, so these are donations. Um, these have not been frozen, so they may take a while, baby carrots, but they do seem to be pretty far along. They've been sitting in the bucket for a while. And then, I don't know if these are lemons or limes or what the story is, but I'll break them open. And then that will kind of maybe mitigate the smell from the the radishes, maybe. But it will be on the layer down below, so there won't be any smell in my basement. I think I am going to give them a little bit of coconut coir. Just to absorb any water. I don't need it to get super, super wet. And, uh, well, looks like I forgot to put the towel on the bottom. All right, so the towel goes in the middle this time. Doesn't really matter, right? I don't think so. All right. And then the top. And since I do have more food available, I think I am going to give them some of the food because it's not frozen and it, it won't break down super fast. So I'm going to dig a little pit here and give them some food too. Okay, so baby carrots. There we go. So that should keep them for quite some time. We'll look in on them, you know, after a week or so, but I wouldn't expect the unfrozen vegetables to have made a lot of progress in one week. Um, oops, I almost forgot to release the worms. Hold on. There we go. So that's the uh, worms left over from the bait. Bury the food that was in there with them. Let them spread out. All right. Well, they're doing good. All right. So if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody. Have a good day.